This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. That was a nice one. I, I like that skit. Minus the whole naked people in the bath thing. <laughs> Thankfully it was censored, but somehow I had the feeling that Twitch that would have been one of those things that Twitch might get antsy about, so I just kind of fast forwarded that. Sakaki's Dere earlier this morning left a strong impression, but there's no time to reflect on that spectacle. Our group trip to the beach is today! Oh yeah! I've told- yes! That was like three streams ago that they made plans for that. Now we're finally going to the beach! Okay, maybe this will be a longer stream than usual. I don't know how long the beach trip will take, but oh, I gotta do that. What's more, the weather is absolutely perfect for the purpose. Perhaps someone has been earning some good karma lately. As the group gathers around the principal's car in preparation for the outing, there's a definite sense of anticipation in the air. Heck yeah, I'm, oh, I'm pumped. My classmates are moving around restlessly, unable to control their fidgety nervous energy. <laughs> Is the cooler filled with, <laughs> with Apple Jacks? <laughs> oh yeah, that we have to take two cars. This is the purpose of the cooler. You underestimate Saji. Are we having a beach barbecue? Oh man, Sachi is just on top of everything. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Well, in my experience, the blondes of the world tend to see this sort of event as a good excuse to boss people around. <laughs> well, we know. Hello there, Michiru. Tell me something. You didn't even want to go to the beach in the first place, right? Oh, don't worry, the ocean is plenty cold. Well, I didn't really intend to criticize you either way. If anything, the opposite seems more appropriate. She was opposed to the idea originally, but instead of uh, sulking over the group's decision, she's accepted it with admirable enthusiasm. I guess she's something of a flexible spirit. No, wait. Approach this from a slightly different angle, and the term simple-minded might be just as accurate. Don't mind me, I'm just talking to myself. More importantly, are you sure you have all of your personal stuff? Not forgetting anything? <laughs> Have you already completely forgotten what you said 30 seconds ago? Sachi, why do you have to pack for her? She's a grown woman. Oh, hey, Mobius was playing Ultimate Chicken Horse. Oh, yeah, people were playing Ultimate Chicken Horse today. Forgot about that. I see, but you see, Sachi. Michiru earned the title of Scatterbrain Queen precisely because she's capable of leaving fiends behind, even under such circumstances. Are you sure it's wise to have left her unsupervised? She gotta learn! No, 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 you gotta be responsible for yourself, and if you end up making a mistake, you learn from that mistake. Where are your swimsuits? You do have them, right? <laughs> this is a visual novel dating sim. You, we are gonna see the girls in swimsuits, right? That's a pretty good idea. I see. Good to hear. Although that kind of sounds more like something Machina would do. Eh, hey, that's practical. I don't want to see that. How about you just have a nice one? Oh, that's something to look forward to. Okay, moving on from that! Well, hmm, that, irres that irrepressible confidence of yours is a good thing. Probably. I know it's hot, Michiru, but you don't have to sweat that much. Uh, 
ッチあのねえっとそのあことなんだけど you forgot to pack it didn't you もしかしてミチル様 Hey now, what's the matter, genius? Don't tell me your prodigious talent for forgetting things has already exhibited itself. At least you remembered now. No, that's fine. Just go run and get it. I'm at a loss for words. I think that girl may be even worse than Makina. No, just different. <laughs> Who's over here? Yeah, this gotta be rough for Yumiko because her dark hair has gotta make her head real hot. It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. Bored already? I'll get you a nice ice cream cone once we get to the beach, so try to be patient a little while longer, okay? Well, that was nice of you. Come on, even adults like ice cream. What is wrong with you? In that case, maybe she should just try not to whine like one. But I decide that actually offering her this suggestion would be more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> she brought her box cutter with her, I guarantee it. Heck, everyone's getting ice cream, even the principal's getting ice cream. All right, Makina, you've been a good girl lately. I'll buy you one later. We'll see what they have. Hmm, very well. I drop my hand onto Makina's head in my usual manner. Well then, Sakaki, what flavor do you want? Yumiko, there's no judgment. Ice cream is great. Hey, Principal! What uh, ice cream flavor would you like? No, afraid not. The Queen of Carelessness has returned to the dorm in search of her swimsuit, with her maid in attendance. Amine still hasn't returned with the second car, either. <laughs> Amine had to get more snacks for the car ride because somebody, not naming any names, but uh, somebody ate all of her snacks in a previous skit. Where's she getting a car from in the first place? Oh, don't tell me that she's been seducing the, the truck drivers, too. Should I go check up on her? Can we take the bimbo mobile? I would love to. Well, there's no real need to hurry, I suppose. The sea isn't going anywhere. Yumiko does have a point. I wasn't planning to wait around quite that patiently either, but it's better to approach this sort of thing with composure. Rushing tends to create more problems than it solves. Right, here comes a good example. <laughs> oh, you're already in your swimsuit. I thought somebody was riding a horse over here, but no, Mitra's just got her swimsuit on. I like that swimsuit. It's nice. Very simple, but it's modest. It's a good one. Take a look, Sakaki. This self-evidently dim-witted blonde is a perfect case in point. I'm getting really sick of everyone just constantly, constantly insulting Michiru. Desperate with her, this irrational fear that she'd be left behind, she clearly stopped thinking. The instant she finished changing, she burst out of her room and dashed back over here, thoroughly embarrassing herself in the process. You see, when people rush, they make stupid mistakes. Life is just full of lessons. Wow. Wow. I don't. I mean, I told you to get your swimsuit. I didn't tell you to change into it, but. Okay, I like it. It's nice. My thoughts. Uh, let's see. 
My first real thought would be, why are you wearing a school swimsuit? Oh, that's the school swimsuit? That's that's honestly a pretty good one. But I get the feeling that might not be the most considerate thing I could say here as a man. When a woman asks for your thoughts, compliment her. Down any other road lies trouble. Another lesson I picked up with from my time with that epitome of a troublesome woman, JB. Hmm, looks good on you. Very cute. Ah, okay. I don't fully understand myself, but I get the feeling she's being carried along by her own momentum at this point. Poor girl may already be well past the point of no return. I guess not, but what happened to the street clothes you were wearing earlier? Are you for real? Sorry, but I don't think I can justify referring to you as a tsundere anymore. You're really more of a soon doofus. Uh-oh. You are a clown. Makina will now amuse herself at your expense. Alright, Makina, look at this girl and chortle heartily. Wow! This is so rude and so mean. <laughs> Michiru is the female Sunohara. They're both blonde, they're both not the brightest. They both can be a bit of a pain to put up with, but they're both good people at heart. And also, they both hate being called clowns! <laughs> Ugh. Your English hasn't improved either, I see. Rude, rude, rude. Yeah, girl. Come now, Michiru's sacrificing what little dignity she has left for our amusement. Why not enjoy her buffoonery a while longer? Oh, jeez. Uh, even Sachi's out of breath. Okay, Michiru, really? Sachi, you were able to outrun Michiru and Amine while piggybacking Makina on your back. Why are you now out of breath? Now that she mentions it, you got back here pretty quickly, considering you went all the way to the dorm. It's a bathing suit, and that's a that's a modest bathing suit too. It's a one piece. And I don't mean the anime. Even as she mutters a constant stream of complaints, Michiru takes her clothes from Sachi's hands, then obediently begins to put them on over her swimsuit. Apparently she decided resistance would be futile. I actually agree with that! You could have worded it nicer, but I, I do agree with that! Sorry, she's just stocking up on every kind of snack at the 7-Eleven. Yeah, if she doesn't show up pretty soon, I'm going to go check on her. But Amine has my Get Psyched playlist. I really don't think that's going to happen. The principal's car seats five at most. At the very least, one of us will have to ride with Amine, and... If we want a more comfortable ride, wouldn't it make more sense to have four people in the principal's car and free in Amine's? Two-seater? A vehicle with a fixed passenger capacity of two. So it's a sports car? They may call this play the Money Sink Academy, but it's pretty hard to imagine they have a flashy toy like JB's lying around in some dusty garage. In the next moment, a single white vehicle comes into view, crunching its way across the gravel on the athletic grounds towards us. Behind the wheel, of course, is Suo Amane, and the vehicle she's driving, no matter how you look at it, appears to be a small truck. That said, it's not a Type 75 Jeep or 73 Jeep or anything, just your run-of-the-mill mini pickup. She is she is uh, seducing the truck drivers, isn't she? Yeah, 
ごめんねタイヤの空気圧調節してたら遅くなっちゃった I see well that's a two seater too I guess I wasn't really expecting her to pull up in a flashy sports car but a mini truck is surprising in its own way it's certainly well suited to carrying all of our beach gear and it's probably useful it's for the school to have around but <laughs> the official Cookie Scout stunt bike! Okay then. The hell are you people talking about? A mini truck is a mini truck, right? But even as I'm silently belittling the squat little vehicle, something catches my eye. Michiru, her change of clothes complete, is standing stock still at my side, and her teeth are chattering violently. <laughs> what? The Sambar from hell? I don't get it. For a vehicle from hell, it looks an awful lot like your average Numbaro Yanbar. The body's still, like, new, so I'm having a hard time uh, picturing it as a cursed vehicle whose previous owners died mysterious deaths. Not me! But when Amine asks for a companion, there's no immediate volunteer. The others exchange silent looks. What's wrong? Why is everyone avoiding eye contact with Amine? <laughs> Principal, my dad owns the school. I'm riding with you. Okay, maybe Amine's truck sucks, but she's got snacks and a great get psyched playlist. But it's also Amine. Oof. Oh no, Amine, she's not a safe driver. <laughs> hey, Sachi, tell me, is Amine an irredeemably terrible driver? Okay, but Makina's opinion on this matter, it could be like, oh man, she does she pulls great donuts. Bad effect. Okay, then then Makina can go with Amine. Boom, problem solved. And I go with the good girls. <laughs> I mean, whoops, did I say that out loud? In that case, why is all the color drained from Michiru's face at the mere thought of just riding with her? Well, it makes sense to have the smaller people sit in the vehicle that has to see five of us. Alright, Makina and Sachi, go ahead and get in the principal's car. <laughs> hmm. How on earth does Amine drive to inspire such a violent rejection? I don't get it, but there's a siren going off in my mind. My cowardly instinct for self-preservation is screaming, Don't get in that truck! I wouldn't get in that truck not because of her driving skills, but because, uh, it's us and Amine. I see! Alright, let's decide this with a nice, impartial rock-paper-scissors match. That way, nobody's left with any hard feelings. Don't be ridiculous. Alright, here goes. Rock! I have no idea what just short-circuited in Michiru's brain, but the instant the word rock was out of my mouth, she vigorously threw out scissors. I was just doing the rock-paper-scissors part. What are you jumping the gun for? Uh oh. It's okay, she's got snacks. Yeah! 
How are you planning to drive if the weight difference between us is actually going to make it? Oh, oh I, I am not getting in her car. Just, just use your seatbelt. Aminate! Are you just the worst driver the world has ever seen? How did you get your license? She fell? Off the back of the truck? At that moment, I thought I understood the nature of Michiru's trauma, but I was still barely understand underestimating the full terror of Aminate's driving. I would come to understand the truth later that day. A little while into the pleasant journey to the beach, our two-vehicle convoy was weaving its way down a winding coastal road. I'm actually I'm super hyped about the beach day. I just think that her driving is going to be terrible. For now! But just then, a flashy sports car roars noisily up behind Mamane's mini truck and begins to tailgate. Yeah, that's fine. As Amine flips on her turn signal and begins to pull over to the left, the sports car instantly pushes its way past her truck on the right, flashing its hazard lights in greeting. But rather than pulling back into the lane, the sports car continues to power its way forward on the wrong side of the road, jumping past the principal's car as well. The car pushes its way sharply in front of the principal just as she's about to round a curve. She's forced to jam on the brakes hard enough to send up white smoke from her tires, leaving her car shaking unsteadily from side to side. Oh no, drivers like that are terrible. Careful there, Amine. We don't want the pot to call the kettle black. I don't like where this is going. Wow! No, 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 we don't have to do that. Not waiting for a response, Amine steps on the clutch and begins to downshift. While giving the truck a little gas, she smoothly drops from fifth gear to fourth then deferred. In the next instant, she mashes down on the accelerator. D you don't do that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nice animation. The whine of the supercharger grows all the more shrill. The four-cylinder SOHC engine screams in protest, and then the Sambar savagely accelerates as if stunned by a whip. Amine, don't kill anyone! Your, your driving sucks! The Sambara quickly flies past the principal's car, the needle of the RPM gauge mounted at the base of the A-pillar, soaring into the red zone within seconds. <laughs> Are you gonna run him off the road? ケットラに押し付けられば凹むかと思ったんだけど。あらら、見害ナンバーか。譲ってくれる気はないみたいだし。抜いちゃおうか。おっと、抜くって嘘でしょ。この先の直線で横に出るよ。やめて。あ、お
You're laughing about this? You are psychotic. Amine, you were so bad. Are you gonna crash the car? This is not a frill ride, Amine. No. In a striking contrast to Amine's carefree, almost bored tone of voice, the guardrail draws steadily closer outside Michiru's passenger seat window. When I said when I heard the game had a lot of action scenes, this is not what I was thinking. Poor Michiru. <laughs> I didn't hear Baka, and I'm very upset. Oh my god, why are you doing this, Amine? Yes! Did you not see the ribbons in her eyes? The Sambar from Hell. That white devil is no myth. And Amine manipulating that demon as though it were an extension of her limbs makes her way to the beach, burning not only gallons of gasoline, but years off of Michiru's life. When our group arrives at the beach by means of the principal's safe, steady driving, we find the two of them waiting for us, their faces a study in contrasts. On one hand, Amine slicks her tongue playfully out of her mouth towards us, or sticks her tongue out, as if to say, I kinda overdid it, tee hee. On the other hand... Michiru stands gazing into the distance with unfocused eyes, looking like the very picture of the Buddhist enlightened soul, as if nothing this world has to offer could ever frighten her again. From my perspective in the principal's car, Amine's sudden acceleration had been a bit of a surprise. But we lost sight of her car almost immediately, so the incident didn't leave that strong of an impression at the time. But when Michiru whispered those hoarse, toneless words, I understood that she had known hell and would forever bear the scars to prove it. 